So I'm delighted to have Mr. Krishna Rajendra Neeli from EDA. He is the project director of AMCA project. Uh, perhaps it is uh, one of the biggest dream which Indian uh, youngsters would see uh, those who want to make career in uh, Indian security, defense, research. Uh, perhaps this is one of the biggest projects because uh, eyeing to build fifth generation fighter jet, it's not that easy task. So how you are uh, realizing this dream of India, sir? First of all, I should pay my gratitude to you as a scientist. Uh, what every Indian thinks like, I believe that I am the voice of my fellow Indians. So I must pay my gratitude first to you scientists at ADA and at the RDU, sir. Thank you very much, Silesh. And uh, it's a very happy moment for us uh, as a scientific community that we were able to develop this fifth generation fighter aircraft in our country with our own manpower, with our own intellectual uh, this thing. And this is the, uh, the intent of displaying this particular model is that we wanted to show to the nation that we are on the verge of bringing the fifth generation aircraft for the country and we are not far away. And uh, as uh, you are uh, knowing, we got the approval in April 2024 only for the development phase. And a lot of people have contributed in ADA and DRDO. Uh, these are the last because the technologies that are required. When you say fifth generation aircraft, it is should be packed with a lot of technologies. One is on it the gives me really goosebumps. Yes. So what are the key features, key uh, technology which you have developed? I believe that uh, the AI uh, is also inbuilt. Yes, AI will be will be inbuilt. The development of the AI models particularly for the net-centric warfare environment and then the electronic pilot is our already initiated and we have progressed well in that. Wonderful. So just for the sake of my viewers, how this MCA being the fifth generation is different from fourth generation LCA Tejas or maybe Rafale which is four, four and a half almost. Yeah. See, the moment when we say fifth generation aircraft, fifth generation aircraft, essentially it's a stealth aircraft. The moment we say stealth, how it, it is distinctly different from the fourth generation to the fifth generation is one is its shaping. Its shaping is entirely different. If you see any kind of conventional fourth generation aircraft and all, the fuselage bottoms and all, it, it, it is like a more like a circular thing. All the, to weapon, have the, the weapon base yes, totally hidden. To, because all the weapons have to be carried internally if you wanted to achieve a stealth aircraft. So we have built in one internal weapon bay which can be able to carry around one and a half tons of the payload. So this is one of the important future of the stealth fighter. So uh, it would uh, be uh, leaving very less heat signature to the radar, enemy radars. Uh, what, what about the paint? Uh, because paint is also important. You develop the paint uh, or uh, there are some special uh, physical airframe features? I'll tell you. See, we, we are not interested more into the paint. The reason is that if it is a paint, then it may peel off. So that is the technology that we have developed, what it is called the radar absorbing structure. The stealth materials are the special materials which will reduce the, uh, the radar cross-section signature. Those materials have been indigenously developed within the DRDO labs and ADA has developed the with the industry and with the NAL the manufacturing processes, how do we embed these stealth materials into the composite materials and then make it as a monolithic structure so that the maintenance of the aircraft will be less. Because the paint means for every sortie you may have to repaint it once if it peels off. So whereas when the moment you use a radar absorbing structure, this type of maintenance uh, things will totally go away. Totally done away with. Totally done away with. Paint, if at all, if we are using it, it, it is maybe not That's even a point one value. percent. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So, so enemy must uh, uh, get a hint of it that uh, they are dealing with India. India and see technologically we have advanced a lot. As uh, there is uh, that we really wanted to as a proudly as a scientific community we wanted to communicate that we are on our own. That is that is very important. That everything you have developed on your own. So how the fourth generation LCA Tejas development has helped because that is also totally Swadeshi, totally indigenous. How that has helped in graduating to fifth generation, sir? See, LCA is the mother of 
Indian aviation, uh, I would put it as far as the fighter aircraft development is concerned. This is, LCA program is the one which has established the industry ecosystem, academia, in the, uh, academia ecosystem, small scale industries ecosystem. It has integrated over 300 and uh, more than 350 industries which can be able to support. See, ADA can be a design agency. ADA is not a manufacturing agency. We, for the manufacturing, we depend largely on to the industries. Okay, so that industry ecosystem it has been developed from the uh, LCA, this thing, and a lot of processes, certifications, procedures, they are all built in the LCA program, which we are leveraging for the AMCA program. Without LCA program, there is no AMCA program. I would put that way. Because it is totally indigenously developed technology, totally. Yes. and private sector has also, also participated in, uh, in this development. In fact, the model, what you are seeing it here, is completely developed by the private industry. Wonderful. Designed by ADA and uh, completely fabricated manufacturing of all the tools, jigs, fixtures, because it is not a model because it, it is the engineering model what we call it, it has all the engineering, uh, the materials that we are using it as for the actual aircraft material, grade materials we have used it, actual aircraft manufacturing processes that we have employed. So that means by and large we have developed the industrial ecosystem in India, defense ecosystem. Absolutely, absolutely. Because we have developed a complete ecosystem in the country for producing the prototypes and then the production of the aircraft. This uh, one important factor also, since it is in the development phase, engine would also be important. So uh, please tell my viewers what kind of engines we are eyeing, how we will procure or will develop is there any plan for that? Because people also say that we are relying on G company for G4105 for LC Tejas. So when we develop fifth generation, can we have our own engine also? And how much time would it take? Any time frame, any, any uh, progressive uh, thought about it? See, right now, this AMCA is configured with the GF414 INS6 uh, engine which is being used in LCA Mark II also. And uh, our plan is that, as you know, India has already signed an MOU with the GE for uh, indigenous production of the engines in, in, the, in the country. In the country. So one, we are expecting that by the time we complete the certification, indigenous engines will be available in the country. Maybe the licensed production of the engines. So that is how as a first step, that is the thing that we are looking at it. And parallelly, the, definitely the indigenous uh, development of the engine uh, has to be, uh, you know, initiated in the country. So, uh, do you believe that the government should take initiative, should release fund, uh, should uh, uh, give uh, maybe perhaps a, a wider uh, framework outline to the scientific community that, okay, we we want to develop our own engine because ultimately it has to be political decision first because the funding has to come from that way. Uh, without funding, the DRDO or HAL or any other organization or ADA per se would not be able to develop it. So as a scientist, because I know I'm from science background, uh, I was also senior research fellow, but in biotechnology project, long, long time back, I quit and become journalist. So I know how money is important and being scientist, uh, everything rely on funding. So, do you want to say something about that? See, certainly uh, one major program uh, integrating the Indian industries and then the scientific communities has to be, uh, you know, initiated at the earliest so that maybe down the line, maybe in another one decade or so, we will have our own engine. It will be a proud, uh, the Indian uh, defense sector and then the aviation sector certainly will be looking forward for the indigenous engine. We should have our own engine, like the way when I say when we have our own fifth generation fighter, when we have our own engine integrated with that, that gives a complete pride as far as the, uh, you know, hello Indian is concerned. You are leaving a legacy for youngsters. Do you believe that our youngsters are uh, really uh, up to it, that they would be able to develop our own engine? Uh, the scientific mind of our uh, country. We want to say something to our youngsters that they should take up this challenge instead of moving out or from abroad they should come back and start developing and perhaps we should, uh, I, 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 I as a fellow, I as a uh, Indian uh, citizen would definitely urge, request my government 
to uh, have this kind of uh, engine program and should release fund as soon as possible yes certainly see all the minds all the hands see any of these programs success any of the success see, for example today when we are seeing the light combat aircraft success its induction into the indian air force it is not just happened by one organization or the one person it's a conglomeration of all the uh, drdo labs ada hcl indian industries academia so many small and medium scale industries we have integrated and all our indian industries so unless until we integrate all our uh, uh, you know intellectual listings we will not be able to succeed certainly for your right question for the younger minds whether we can be they can be able to do it i have a very strong confidence that our indian young generations are very very dynamic they can be definitely they will be able to develop this engine in the coming years definitely def but provided the government should support it, it's a long way to go definitely. but uh, uh, first step once we can be able to reach i think the baby steps can become into a, a running uh, marathon my my last question coming back to the technology which you have developed the, as project director uh, the ada has developed what are the key features can you elaborate on those the electronic warfare system the ai thing so that uh, we understand and our youngsters they can always learn and can graduate when they join this program some of them i would believe that they would definitely be watching and would definitely get involved in future yes certainly see uh, as i have told you it's a single seat aircraft the when it comes into the combat uh, scenario the aircraft is meant for the combat uh, uh, this is called the combat aircraft that means lot of combat uh, maneuvers it it, it 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 has to do and a single pilot as a single pilot he man it he should be supported with a lot of uh, electronic aids and we call that that a lot of ai has to be built in how the enemy uh, you know threat is coming how do we avoid that threat and if it, if it is a, a enemy threat it, it is there how to counteract that particular uh, threat lot of decision aids have to be there so all these decision aids are all based on the ai models we are developing which will give a complete uh, uh, you know support system to the main pilot that automatically recognize it various targets and all. how do you do it because multiple sensors will be there in the aircraft and uh, uh, we need to identify which is a friend which is a foe and accordingly we should be able to uh, you know act in the combat uh, zone so all that thing will be done by that aircraft so my last question what is the flying program and what we when would we see that prototype would be flying and would be approved later see uh, we have got the approval for the development in uh, march 2020 april 2024 and uh, we will fly by 2028 end right thank you very much sir thank for you. uh, uh thank being you. on national defense and i wish you good luck thank you it's such a great uh, project and it gives me goosebump when i speak to you about this amka project and perhaps every indian uh, they are part of this project so you feel always that we are together in this definite thank you sir thank you so thank much. you very much